If you've been bass fishing from a boat for a while, you've probably heard the saying that if you're fishing the bank, 90% of the bass are behind you. Here we are, sucker. If you think about it, a bass is actually primarily a deeper water fish that spends a lot of its time off of the bank. It primarily goes to the bank in the spring to spawn, as well as at certain times of the year to feed. But during the majority of your hot weather months and your really cold weather months, bass are actually on offshore structure and cover. Now, I'm not gonna always say that 90% of the bass are on offshore structure. This percentage actually will change depending on the lake that you're fishing. Some lakes that you go to, there's an abundance of shallow water cover, and there's no real reason for the bass to actually leave that shallow cover to go to offshore cover and structure. Now, probably the biggest mistake that anglers make when it comes to fishing offshore structure is simply not knowing how to line up perfectly with that piece of cover or structure that they are trying to hit. When bass are on offshore schools, they will get so tight at times that they will be on a space that is literally the size of the front deck of your boat. If you are five foot off to the left or five foot off to the right, you're going to miss that school of fish. <laughs> So learning how to properly line up so that you can make a perfect cast right to where those fish are is extremely important. And in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to do that. Now, when I first started fishing offshore structure, I had an aluminum boat that literally just had a 2D sonar on it. I would spend all day idling over things and just looking at that 2D sonar. And when something would pop up, something that looked like a stump or a rock pile, I would simply take a marker buoy, something you can get very cheap, and I would throw it about 20 to 30 foot away from that object that I was trying to hit. Then I would simply circle around and typically within a few casts, I would be able to find that structure with the lure that I was fishing. Now with today's age of electronics, I simply use my electronics to get a pinpoint cast the first time every time. Today I'm out here, the water temp is actually 46 degrees. We are here in late, late fall, early winter, and a lot of these bass are going to be relating to cover and structure that is immediately next to a major creek or river channel. Looking at my map, I have found a little point that drops off into a major creek channel that to me looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna idle over this point, I'm gonna mark what I see, and then I'm gonna turn back around and start making casts to it. Now this point is small enough that I am just basically gonna center punch it. I can see 80 feet to both sides of me. I don't need to go back and forth across the point. I can literally just center punch it. Now what I'm seeing on this point is quite a few stumps. I'm also seeing some bait fish that are suspended over deep water. So what I'm gonna do is this, there's a stump here off to the side that is a little bit isolated. And anytime I'm fishing, I like isolation. So although there are several stumps here, I marked the one stump that I kind of like. I'm gonna spin the boat around now and we're gonna start to line up to make a cast to it. This was an actual tournament situation. A lot of times I like to let that area that I just idled over rest for 10 or 15 minutes. So a lot of times I'm gonna go mark some other stuff and then come back to see if there's some active fish there. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually gonna turn right back around now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my map. And so what I like to do is place this line that is ahead of my boat right on the waypoint that I just marked. Once it's on that waypoint, I will actually click on that waypoint and on the bottom left hand of the screen, it will show me how far away I am from the waypoint. Now, typically when I get about 120 feet away, I will slow the boat down and I will kill the engine. And then this is when I get on the front deck of the boat. As I get closer to the waypoint with my trolling motor, the little waypoint icon is actually going to pop up on my 360 unit. And I love this because I can make waypoints at my unit back here and it's connected 
up here, up at the front. So as soon as I start to get close, I'm going to see that waypoint symbol pop up and it'll tell me the exact direction of where that waypoint is. So if you look at my 360, you can see that I'm a little bit off right now. I thought I was pointed directly at the waypoint. It's actually a little bit to the right. So if I actually pan over with my Mega Live a little bit to the right, you will see that stump pop up on the Mega Live. Now, the cool thing is you can actually see a few fish that are just below that stump on the Mega Live. Now that I got the trolling motor pointed right towards that object, I can just make a cast and I know that it's only 50 feet out from here. Made about a 60 foot cast there. And that is really it. The only thing left to do is start catching fish. Oh yeah.